Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for a very special video. It is October 15th, 2024 today. It marks eight years, dude. Eight full years I've been playing Marvel Contest of Champions. I downloaded it October 15th, 2016. I was in a grade 12 of high school at the time. It feels like so long ago. I'm only, you know, 24 years old, so that's like a third of my lifespan been playing this game now, which is just <clears throat> crazy. So before we're going to do like a whole account tour and everything, but before we do that, I just kind of wanted to take a little trip down memory lane. So I went back into my camera roll to like 2016 October, and I took some screenshots. So this was the very first night of my account you can see my very first three star was ultron i remember sitting through his special three animation like so many it's so long just blasting but it takes so long this is long 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 before the skip special three button existed um so yeah ultron was my first three star and then literally this next screenshot is the next day like the next evening and i think by that point i already spent money um here yes so you can see i now have another three star or two three stars magic but also deadpool red suit deadpool this was literally the next day you can see I, I leveled up a lot i was playing quite a bit uh and yeah picked up that deadpool offer uh so this was my very first arena grind because you can see this is 2016 11 3 <laughs> so this would have been uh november 3rd 2016 uh, because basically how it works when you start playing the game for the first 30 days you're in what's called the beginner's bracket so while you're in the beginner's bracket it's only for arena um it's you're only in with people that have been playing for 30 days or less so most people that download the game the first 30 days they're not grinding arena you know but I was, man. I was in there with my very few champs, just running them through all day, every day. As soon as they would refresh, scooped up a four-star Ghost Rider who had, you know, like, just came out. And then this was really cool. So this was when the Doctor Strange movie came out, the very first one. They had an offer in-game. It was 1,000 units for this crystal for like a chance at, at Doctor Strange. It's probably, I don't know the odds, probably like 20% or something. And so I spent, you know, I only had, I would have had 2,885 units. I spent 1,000 units and I got Doctor Strange. This was one of the luckiest, this was like the first time I would say I got lucky playing the game. This was my first ever CEO pull, man. And I tweeted it at Seton and he like, quoted the tweet and said congrats like at the time bro back then this this like this blew my mind i thought that was so cool that he responded so yeah you can see this was november 4th 2016 man so long ago all right let's keep going down memory lane so this was you know into november i think the roster had started to grow a little bit i think i got that abomination from like a halloween deal or something I think it was like a monsters bundle, maybe that Venom pool as well. She Hulk up there, that was my very first four star from a premium hero crystal. And yeah, I've hated She Hulk pretty much ever since. Yep. Uh, here, this was like now into December. the The account started to grow a lot. Captain America World War Two was just a absolute beast, man. The perfect block back in the day was so powerful. And then Black Widow was easily one of the most powerful champions in the game. I would say, other than Scarlet Witch, I'd say probably Black Widow was number two. Because as soon, as soon as you got Black Widow to SIG 99, it was over. She just turned off all abilities, period. Like, if Domino existed back then, I wonder, I wonder how that would work. I, I think Black Widow would turn her off. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. But everything back in the day... Black Widow, a Sig-99 Black Widow simply turned off. She just turned off the nodes. You know, like back in the day, Thorns. There was Thorns nodes running wild. Black Widow turned it off. Like She, she just turned every ability off. It was incredible. Uh, she was my very first Sig-99. As you can see, she's my profile pick. Love me some Black Widow. Then this was my first ever 5-star. And Iron Fist got Iron Fisted by the 5-star crystal. And then I proceeded to pull him 
two more times within my first five five star crystals i had pulled iron fist a total of three times so that was fun you know how to sig 40 iron fist pretty quick uh here this was uh, i was going through realm of legends with my three star scarlet witch this was an average fight in there 657 hits for the three star but it wasn't that bad because like half of these hits the opponent is like stun locked if not more so you know it wasn't too bad uh, and then this was my final uh my final arena champ that i secured before entering the veterans bracket so first 30 days it's the beginners bracket and then first then 30 to 60 days is the intermediate bracket and then after 60 days you're just with everyone else swimming in the ocean so in that my final like arena of that uh, intermediate bracket it like started like the first day of the hyperion bra of the hyperion arena was like my last day in the bracket but because it started when i was still in the bracket like i was still in the bracket for the whole till the arena ended so i managed to scoop up a four star hyperion right when he came out so yeah man, you can see it's i like that they have the date on these 2016 12 15 so december 15th 2016 which is crazy it's so long ago and then this was my greatest pull ever <laughs> uh, you know four star scarlet witch the most busted the most broken champion to ever grace the contest it's her and as soon as this was right around christmas uh as soon as i pulled the scarlet witch dude i i within like a month i had everything in the game beaten other than labyrinth um because they had made specific notes that scarlet witch couldn't do labyrinth but everything else i just finished it with scarlet witch like act four realm of legends wrote the labyrinth everything just knocked it all out with four star scarlet witch she was uh pretty incredible all right that is it for the trip down memory lane let's go jump live in game now and do a little bit of an account tour so the account is looking really really good right now spot is my top champion which i absolutely love to see but i recently got this ghost rider profile picture which is awesome also you know throwback to getting ghost rider in the arena so it's kind of ties into that now so yeah it all ties together but uh, total number of heroes we are at 1370 champions now total base hero rating is 7.7 .7 million so 7 million seven hundred nine thousand three hundred fifty seven prestige is up to twenty five thousand seven hundred thirty eight uh, my relic individual prestige is 1430 spot is my top champ sitting at 124 on the sig uh domino she's she's way higher so she's like 160 167 she's probably going to be my first uh sig 200 champion um and then yeah i got werewolf up in here as well and then kindred i don't think they are in my profile normally maybe they are i don't know but yeah, that's the profile. And then the Ghost Rider Relic is my only rank 3 relic. Got that on the wolf. Um, yeah, here's my stats. You know, I don't do arena anymore. But I definitely, as you guys saw, it, ever since I first started playing the game, I was putting in those reps in the arena. Um, you know, my PvP fights won. I think that's arena. That is almost 200,000. That's quite a few. Um, just people with way more, but... That, that, that's a lot of time in the arena and then uh my highest pvp win streak 1273 i don't even remember what that massive win streak was for like who i was grinding for i don't remember it's been so long since i've done arena but uh yeah, that's the profile let's go through some titles real quick the title i'm rocking right now the bronx brawler is a cool one it is a Call back to Comic Con. Won the daily championship at NYCC. It's unfortunate though because when I won the year prior, the title for that MSD has a champion's champion. He got that for winning Comic Con. They never gave me a title when I won. Uh, I won before they were giving out titles, so yeah, I don't really have one to commemorate that. Which is unfortunate. I would like one. But, uh, yeah, I got the Pirate King title as well. I haven't been using that because I don't feel like I'm worthy of it yet. When I feel worthy of it, I'll be putting it on. But, uh, yeah, got a lot of titles. So many titles. There's even some duplicate, like two Annihilators there. There's two Spirit of Vengeances. There's, there's, there's a few double titles. I've got quite a few, man. It's fun to just kind of sit and look through all these. I do it sometimes. 
There's some weird titles. <laughs> some really weird ones. Look at that one. NPC in training. I like that. I got that on Leg Spiker. <laughs> There's so many of them. Look at all these. I don't think that there, there's a number of how many you have, but I, I have so many. And then down here we have one of my old titles. This one I did a, a, a community boss rush, the Supreme Legacy. That's a that's an OG title. <laughs> yeah, those are all the titles. And then profile picks. We got quite a few of those as well. I'm kind of a collector on these. They're expensive, so I don't get them all, but uh, I do collect the ones that I find to be pretty cool. And I, I'm sure you guys notice I change my profile picture fairly often. So, yeah, got quite a few of these. They're fun to collect, man. Like I remember playing this game before profile picks, you know, were a thing. Yeah, it wasn't right. It's been so, these eight years or so long. It's hard to remember before when, when like things didn't exist. Even though even things that were recently added, it's like it's just hard to think of a time before some of these incredible quality of life things existed. Cause, cause you don't even want to think about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's uh, one last thing to show is the emotes. These are my current emotes that I'm rocking. The Loki laugh. You have to have the Loki laugh in case you come across a Loki laugher. Gotta have it there. The Hulk smash, getting angry. Yes. The new, this new Deadpool one is awesome. There's like a picture, like a P, I have a PNG saved of like a dead, MCOC Deadpool like spinning out coffee. So I, this, I assume this emote is a callback to that a little bit of artwork. I really like it. It's funny. I like it. Uh, my emote, of course, and the Capsule. The best emotes you could be rocking in my opinion. Yeah, that is the main profile. Uh, as far as like content and everything, we got pretty much everything in game done all current story content done uh don't have the current monthly stuff done <laughs> haven't even touched it um but all of the old variants back issues you know these used to be such a big deal in the game and now they just are basically irrelevant It'd be really cool if kabam did something with them Especially because this last one, Deadpool Lose It. This one has like the coolest picture I've ever seen. It's just like the Maestro Act 4 super sick picture with Deadpool's face like taped on it. Like, it's, I love it, dude. Uh, I'd love to see this. Yeah, this one especially. Just like another tier. Like a, a Valiant variant. Yeah, the VV. The Valiant variant. Something like that, you know? Be cool. But yeah, all that's been done. All content in here is done but the crucible i haven't 100 the normal difficulty so i don't have the banner on that and grandmaster's gauntlet as well i like to get the 100 explored little banner on it which i do want it's kind of annoying that i'm missing those banners i have to do like one path and then go to the boss and then the second path go to the boss to like fully 100 percent which I will do at some point, but yeah, all this is essentially done, you know, all that Indian content. Really excited for more, especially the Crucible stuff. I really enjoyed Crucible this year. Um, yeah, Battlegrounds, just kind of chilling right now. We're in Mysterium on a, on a bit of a win streak. Yeah, the season's been fun. Uh, I've just been super busy in real life stuff, all really good stuff, but yeah, just vibing having fun using my elder marks contributing to the battleground blitz event i'm currently sitting at almost eight thousand points not, not bad um definitely gonna keep grinding keep putting up points i'm gonna be putting up points on leg spiker as well gotta be doing that and then you yeah, know what else do i want to show still in for loki of course the number one alliance in the world in my heart uh, and just really the only alliance that i Truly want to be in long term. Get those helps real quick. Shout out to everybody in the alliance. Our leader, Karate Mike. All of our officers, Clown, PWF, Steve, B McG, Trevor. All the homies, Usafa, Vegito, Enzo, T-Tang, Hanford, Smugsy, Phase, Adman, Vacuum, Wheeler, Sefasi, Dr. Shrimp. That leg guy. The B-Manny, Heenatch, Jake, Let's Fight, Rando, Matt, Outline, The Catalyst. Uh, Huge West, Fuse, and Chris is great. Shout out to all the homies in the Alliance. 
And yeah, I think last but not least is to just take a look at the champions. So let's go ahead and start from the bottom and work our way up. I have every one star in the game except Captain America. Gonna have to fix that. Two stars. Two star collection has been coming along. We got a lot of new two stars this year. I don't think I've leveled them all up yet though. Still have to do that, yeah. I got a lot of them I need to level up. But I got a two-star onslaught, which is super cool. It's my favorite two-star. <laughs> uh three stars. Three star roster is it. Got quite a few maxed out three stars. But the game just keeps getting more and more champions, so just more and more three stars. At rank one, and then there's still quite a few we don't have. Four stars, man. Four stars really don't get ranked anymore. I think I maxed out Stark's Body and Onslaught just because I want to have, like, them maxed out at, like, every star level, basically. <laughs> I just kind of did that for fun. But, like, yeah, there's no real need to rank up four stars anymore. So my four-star roster really doesn't cha hasn't changed much at all over, like, the last, I don't know, five years or something, you know? Yeah, I'd say like the most least change in the four star roster than every other star level, which is kind of weird. But yeah, that's four stars, and then five stars got a few maxed out, just kind of cool ones like Ultron, Deadpool, Quake, Magic. You know, champs that are restricted as five stars. But um, yeah, five star rosters are. I think I do have quite a few five star champions collected. Like, let's see, how many am I missing? Yeah, not too many. Like about two rows of champions, not bad. Six stars, a six star roster is is great. Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Got a lot of rank one six stars too. I would uh, eventually, you know, like to get all my six stars to rank three, but that's that's a lot of work. That's a lot of gold and a lot of ISO and quite a bit of catalysts as well. But uh, yeah, now we're getting to the good stuff. Let's put this to six star rank five ascendants. These are my fully maxed out six star champions here. I think I gotta put it the other way on here already. Yeah, it's backwards. So yeah, here's how we're looking. We got quite a few fully maxed out six stars. What is this? Two, four, six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. A full deck of maxed out six stars. Wow. It's quite a few. And then I do have some six stars that are just like not ascended rank five. A few of them. Yeah, these guys. And I do want to get some of them up, like Ghost, I eventually want to fully max out. Um, Jessica, I want to fully max out. But like, I'm not in a real rush to do that. Uh, but yeah, then we get to the best of the best, the seven stars. So let's go ahead and start with my unowned. So these are the seven stars that I do not have. And out of these, there's definitely a few that I really want. Um scream is really cool she's brand new so of course i don't have her but yeah she's really sick mr sinister is a big one that i want and of course we're going to be getting him uh from the traders outpost once i have enough tickets i'm like halfway now on tickets too plus i have an awakening gem for him so yeah i'm gonna be ranked three mr sinister pretty much as soon as i get him hopefully uh and then jack lantern again brand new definitely want him though he seems pretty cool and then hyperion I haven't pulled Hyperion, you know, she's been in the basic quite a while. Same with the Tuma. These guys have both been in the basic for quite a while. I just don't have them. Would love to get both of these guys as the seventh roster. More so a Tuma, I would say. I would, I would, if I had Tuma awakened, I would definitely rank three him, without a doubt. So, I really want a Tuma. And then, let's say Enchantress. She's kind of new. I kind of wouldn't mind her. So, that next Titan update, pull her there. Okay, those are all my missing seven stars. Now let's go to seven star rank ones. So this is my rank ones, and there's a lot of pretty good champs in here, but they just haven't been ranked up for really one reason or another. Um, and out of all the champs here, like, um, yeah, really not in a rush to be ranking up any of them, to be honest. Yeah. Serpent, of course, if he was awakened. Like a lot of champs here, if they were awakened, they would be ranked up already, but just because they're unduped haven't rank twos now we got a lot of great seven star rank twos but i'd say there's only a select few that are ready to go for rank three 
for example, someone who's not ready to go for rank 3 is Stark Spidey, because he's unduped. If he was just awakened, which is, by the way, my one and only regret in life, in all my nearly 25 years of existence, I only regret one thing, and it's not picking Stark Spidey twice. Ah, uh, need an awake. I need a, need a seven star tech awakening gem or something. Just give this guy what I need. But uh, yeah, as soon as I awaken him, he'll be he'll be getting ranked up. Uh, but uh, out of all the champs here, I would say there's two champs that I really want to rank three right now. And I would say that's Count Nefaria. This dude's awesome. And then I would say Prowler. Prowler's pretty awesome too. Uh, I definitely feel like I need that rank 3 on Prowler to be competitive in, in, in a lot of Battlegrounds matches. Um, yeah, and then of course, the crown jewels of the account, the 7 star rank 3. So we are up to 16 rank 3 7 stars currently. And yeah, I would say... The only one I really regret is Null. If I had to rank down, if I if I gun to my head, rank down one of these champions here, I'd pick Null. Um, I just I feel like Null. If you're gonna rank them, you got kind of want to be committed with the Sigs, and I'm just n the farthest thing from committed with Sigs on Null. I'm not giving them anymore, so yeah, I don't know. I haven't felt great about that, but all my other champs pretty happy with them at rank three the only one that i'm like slightly as well it was shuri but it was a tech two to three gem from necropolis so like it's all good and yeah shuri has definitely won me a ton of matches and come in handy a lot so yeah and then yeah spot you know, love him so much one of my favorite champs in the entire game only behind stark spidey spots right after um domino it's a big menace it's gonna be 6200 wolf love the wolf dude he's awesome uh kindred I don't know how I feel about rank three kindred yet. He's, he's another one. Kind of want really want to get his sig up higher. Um, yeah, I just feel like I need to give him get him a sig hundred. Then he'll be a pretty big menace on defense. Right now, yeah, he's all right. Adam's more recent rank up. I've been been liking it. I've been loving it, but I've been liking it. Still getting used to him. Bullseye, uh, one of my best rank threes, dude. I highly, highly, highly recommend Bullseye. He's just such a good defender. Onslaught best seven star in the game shuri she's good core core's been doing pretty good but again it's kind of similar to kindred i want to get him to sig 200 then he'll be such a big menace photon photon has been great but i feel like every time i draft photon my opponent just has like an unduped rank 2 mantis and then they just run through her like every time <laughs> but yeah photon definitely cooks and i've been using her a lot more offensively which, which has been good uh sassy biggest helpful in the game he's great Red, dude, Red Skull. I've been using this guy a ton lately, and he has just been crushing it. One of my honestly favorite rank threes. Um, yeah, love, love Red Skull. Pig, Pig. I think he's the best seven star science champ in the game, but he's so powerful. Hulk, Hulk's been smashing so hard in Crit Me. I love it. And Maestro. He's just you know the original big bad of the the real big bad behind the scenes of the contest. So I'll always love Maestro, and he's he's a big man on D. So yeah, I love him. And yeah, guys, that's that's the account. That's eight years of at Marvel Contest of Champions. And one last thing is I'm going to be having a very big crystal opening soon in about a little, right around two weeks, uh, October 29th, my birthday. I'm going to be opening up about three, three to four Titan crystals and about 10 seven star basic crystals. So it's going to be a really fun time. Definitely want to be checking that out. I don't know if I'm going to stream it. Let me know if you guys think I should stream it. Or if you want to see it in just a video format. We'll have to see. I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, I'd love your feedback on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. For all love and support over these past 8 years. It's It's been crazy. They told me 8 years ago I'd still be playing this game. I wouldn't believe you. Um, especially it's my job now. Like it's just it's crazy. But yeah. 8 years. Here's to 8 more. Thank you guys for all the support. Hope you have a great day. He's out.